Oh, I beg your pardon. Put on back. Oh. Did, uh, did Madame forget something? Oh, no, no, no. No, it's just that I heard the voices as I was walking to the end of the hall. And I recognized one of the voices. And I knew that I'd be asked where I'd been. And as it's not the Jackson's floor, what could I say? And they're not there anyway. Yes, and they're not there anyway. I'm really ashamed to mention it. But this town is notorious for gossip. I hope you don't misunderstand. Not at all. You see how awkward it would be, don't you? Awkward? Well, of course. If I were seen coming out of a strange gentleman's room in a hotel, why, that would be enough to... Oh, well... Uh, oh, oh, yes, of course. It's quite clear now. Yes. I waited to hear the voices were going away, but they were coming near. And so I was frightened, and I ventured to intrude again. You do see how it happened, don't you? I understand perfectly, Mother. Would you mind closing the door? Won't you uh, be seated? Thank you. Just until they've gone. Oh, I'll only stay a second. I'm terribly ashamed to be imposing this way. Seems a great impertinence for not a stranger to keep dropping in here in such a fashion. Well, you've said that so often, madame, it might be rude to contradict you. And I'm so afraid you're expecting someone. Not now. Well, the anteroom door wasn't even locked. It was unlatched. You don't want me to believe, I hope, that you left it open accidentally? No, I didn't leave it open accidentally. Oh, for someone in particular? For you, Madame Vargo. Why didn't you tell me you knew who I was? <laughs> well, I was waiting for you to admit it. Oh, of course. I don't know your name. Well, my friends call me Jim. Jim. Now we know each other. Yes. That is, we, uh, we start to know each other. Uh, would you mind, please, uh, closing the window? That uh, music makes me feel lonely all of a sudden. Almost unhappy. I wonder if you know what I'm thinking at this moment. No, but I'd love to. Well, I was thinking that you'd never found a man who interested you. Otherwise, you wouldn't be so lonely and so unhappy tonight. And not quite so reckless. I'm not lonely, nor unhappy, nor reckless. Mm. Well, if you'll pardon my saying so, you don't seem to value your reputation very highly. No, nor yourself either. How dare you? Well, you've forgotten to make the other usual remark. I thought you were a gentleman. No, no, I didn't think you were. Oh, oh, you didn't. Do you happen to know who I am? No, I don't want to know. Well, whether you want to know or not, I'll explain to you something about myself. No, please don't explain. It isn't necessary, and I couldn't stand it. You wouldn't tell the truth anyway. Why wouldn't I? You wouldn't, and I hate lies. Oh. But I only wanted to tell you something about my profession. Your profession? Uh, hmm. It's a matter of perfect indifference to me. I don't even want to speak of it. But why not? There's some things that can't be spoken of. They're unmentionable. Do you mind telling me what you think I am? I'll ask you something. Mm -hmm. You can answer in one word, but I want the truth. You shall have it. Is it true that you're living here as the uh, guest of the Marchesa? Oh. Oh, yes, it's quite true. Oh, you share this apartment with her? Yes. Well, then, how can you? How can you do it? Oh, I see. I understand. Why did you put on all your lovely jewelry if you were coming to see a, a gigolo? Oh, I wasn't afraid. I'm surprised at you. Are you giving me a lesson in morality? Oh, no. No, in risks. Didn't you know that a gigolo could take all your jewelry away from you? Your lovely emeralds? Oh, I, I wouldn't fight for them. They've never brought me any happiness. Still, 
Women have been killed for less. Oh, you can't frighten me. I could get out. See how simple it is? I lock the door and pocket the key. Then I pick up a knife or anything. I get hold of your hand, you can't even move. Why, you're trembling. You do realize what you've done. Are you scared? Please, I think I'll go now. Oh, and I tell you to, and not before. Please let go of me. Take your hands off of me. Let me go. Get away. Please let me. I want to go home. Please let me go home. You did everything in the world to get in here. When you're in, why try to get out? Sit down. Sit down. Sit. You knew very well that I'd been going everywhere. I could see you. Concerts, the opera, your street. You knew that I was in love with you. Dead in love, didn't you? Oh, love. There's no such thing for a man. All right, put it the other way, then. Say I wanted you. That's more like it. That's all men think of. It'd be a lot better for women if they all knew it and accepted it. It would save tears. Yes, but I only wanted you. One at a time, of course. Oh, no, I wanted you. Only you. I couldn't wait to get into my seat at the opera. I couldn't bear to leave it. Why, when you first came in here tonight, I hoped for a moment that you had felt something, too, that perhaps you had caught the spark. Hmm? A lot of other men can't take their eyes off me at the opera. That doesn't mean anything. Oh, they don't count. You're a public favorite. It's their vanity, not love. Women come after me in droves, but they, I don't flatter myself. They come after you in droves. <laughs> women come after you in droves. Yes, women come after me in droves. If you'd let me tell you no, why... No, I think you're shameless. Absolutely brazen. Well, just a minute. I will tell you. No, you won't. I won't listen. I don't want to hear any more. Yes, but... Women I... come after you in droves. But... but I don't want to hear another word. Not another word. I won't listen to you. And while I was wondering how to meet you, you came in here and spoiled it all. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry. In another minute, I'm going to take you in my arm. Oh, you're not. Yet I'd kill you for coming here. I want to hunt my women, not have them come after me. Oh! Oh, Nella. Nella, why did you come here? Because I was lonely. And something happened today. And I made up my mind I wanted to... to live. Really live. I wanted to meet someone who... who, uh... So I, I thought of you. So you came here for no better reason than curiosity or to find a lover. And you thought you'd choose me, huh? The gigolo. The Marquesa's gigolo. Oh, what a thing to do. Well, perhaps I wanted a gigolo. Oh, you did, did you? All right then, young lady, you shan't leave here disappointed. It's not the gigolo you want. No, you know I don't. You were, you are horrible. Oh. The way you grab me. Look, I'll be all marked up. I know I will. I'll be black and blue and I'm singing tights on Thursday, half naked. What a woman. She's counting the spots. You like that better? And this one, too. If you want me to be good, why don't you help? No, 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 no. No, I'm afraid of you. Well, I've changed my mind. 
I don't want to love a man. That is, I do, but you'd get a hold on me and I shouldn't be able to break it. If I've only known you an hour and see what's happened already. No, no, you're a man to stay away from. Oh, let me get up. I, I really don't want to get up, but... I... I don't want anything to do with a man who will make me think as he thinks and do as he does and sit by while he lives. No, I want someone near me who will be kind and sympathetic, a real friend. No lover was ever a real friend. That's impossible. A man who will share my life with me and have some common interest. Hmm. What you want's a piano player. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I've got one now, and he's enough. Really, I'm, I'm serious. I'm an earnest. Love means... It means everything to me. There's no inspiration in my life. That's what I miss. But I'm afraid of you. Loving you might be another kind of slavery. Uh, I'll think it over. Yes, I'd better. I'll let you know tomorrow. Oh, no. It's tonight or never. There's the key to the door. It's just three minutes of ten. I'll give you three minutes to make up your mind. Three minutes to decide something as important as this? Mm -hmm. Oh, I couldn't. In three minutes, you can say, send for a taxi. I'll escort you downstairs, put you in the car, and you'll never see me again. But I can't make up my mind in three minutes. Mm -hmm. How impetuous you are. Please give me a little longer. Mm -mm. If you're here three minutes from now, you'll have to take the consequences. Mm, what would the consequences be? You'd be held tight in my arms, and you'd never get out of it. Perhaps you had better send for a taxi. Certainly. Oh, just a minute. How quick you are. If I should stay, after all, of course I'm not going to. If you should, it would mean forever for us. Because I'd never let you go from me to another man. Make up your mind to that. You do like to bully a woman. You take an awful lot for granted, don't you? Not unless I'm forced to. And you're so possessive. I'm very possessive. And I adore you. You don't. Shall I show you whether I no, do or not? No, no. Right. I'll call the taxi. Uh, uh, before I go... Please kiss me, just once. <laughs> Sweetly, tenderly, as if we really belong to each other. Please call a taxi. It's too late. 